Hungry Hearts. Exterior, two-lane interstate, night. The cracked blacktop stretches into the distance, encased in bare trees and dirty snow. Superimpose, Passaic Bluffs, New York, 1993. Spud, 28, peels himself off the blacktop and into frame. Spud's got a scratchy voice, bent posture, and baby blue eyes. His goatee's as natty as a streak of bad luck's long. Puffer jacket's so tattered, Goodwill wouldn't take it. Shit, guy makes Charlie Brown look like a lotto winner. His face is pocked with asphalt bits and bloody gashes. He's fresh off some beating, bruised and battered as they come. Still on his hands and knees, Spud's gaze follows the pair of tire marks etched into the road before him, leading toward a pair of taillights speeding away into the dark distance and fading into night. Spud's holding a torn-off car door handle. His grip tightens. You idiot. Clank, clank, clank. Spud hammers the handle into the ground. You idiot, you idiot. Idiot, 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 idiot. Exterior, two-lane interstate exit ramp. Night. Spud winces as he holds a fistful of snow to his wounds. He shambles down the off-ramp. There's no streetlights in sight. Only light comes courtesy of a bar's flickering neon sign. The Tilt. Spud heads over. Interior, The Tilt, night. Spud enters. It's everything you want out of an off-ramp joint. An empty, squalid hole in the wall you can lose your head in. Spud eyes the phone hanging on the wall. Dread sinks in. Spud sulks past the phone, past the bar, past the bartender, 50s, grumpy, and instead makes for the jukebox. He flips through the selection, lands on a Bonnie Raitt song, slips in the quarters, presses the buttons, nothing. Tired, Spud lays his forehead on the jukebox and sighs. I can help with that. Spud startles. Someone he didn't notice before, in the corner, only other guy here. Some stranger, 30s. That jukebox is a bit of a beast. Requires a special touch. Touch I've got. Good for you. Spud notices all the blood he leaked into the jukebox. He tries swiping it down with his puffer. Only makes it worse. I could get her going for you. Buy you a drink, too. As long as you tell me about your night. My night? What's it to you, my night? Man who drags a bleeding mug and a loose car door handle into a bar that springs for a song before a drink has probably got a story. Spud realizes he's still got the handle. He trashes it. And the guy looking to hear it? What's his deal? Uh, probably looking to fill his head with any tale but his own. Spud thinks on it. Stranger's broad-shouldered with an easy smirk. He's still... Calm. Seems alright enough. But his eyes are dim, inscrutable, like he's holding something back. Hmm. Spud groans, then relents. Stranger chuckles and heads over. Day 16. Bonnie Raitt. Nick of time. Stranger nods. Quite a choice. He hitches up the jukebox's front leg and presses the console down with his thumb as he enters the numbers. Bingo. Bonnie Raitt kicks in. Thanks. Eh. Jack and Coke? Spud and the stranger sit at the bar a few seats apart. Spud lands facing a mirror. He catches his own reflection and frowns. He can't stomach the sight. Dante. Dante Bosworth. Dante's hand out, waiting for Spud's. Spud moves the seat over, away from the mirror and closer to Dante. They shake. Spud. Eh, just Spud. Spud? All right. Good to meet you. So, I take it you've had a great night. Oh, yeah. Real humdinger. Eh, car got jacked. Back there, I-95. Oof, sorry to hear it. The car ain't even the headache. Spud's Jack and Coke arrives. He sips, then gulps. I was on a job. Got the call earlier tonight, out the blue. Interior car, night, flashback. Spud drives over bumpy tree roots as he navigates the thick forest fire roads, sans headlights. Job was... Pick up some wares by the border and move them to downstate. Spud spots a car ahead and parks. He exhales, steals himself, then grabs a duffel bag and steps out.